Let's talk soccer. While football governing body FIFA has suspended the All India Football Federation for third party intervention, Indian teams can no longer compete in international or club football, and the under 17 women's World Cup in the country is currently on hold. The ban has been looming large over India's football body ever since a committee of administrators took control of the National Federation. The three member committee was set up to govern the sport by India's apex coach in May after it ousted former president Praful Patel for not holding elections since 2020. The committee was tasked with framing a new constitution in line with India's spot code. A joint FIFA AFC delegation had issued an ultimatum for a new constitution to be in place by July 31st and for elections to be conducted by September 15th. But with no headway in the matter, the Bureau of the FIFA Council unanimously decided to suspend FIFA due to third-party influence and called for the committee to be removed immediately. This is how the suspension affects Indian football. National teams cannot play international matches while domestic competitions will lose their FIFA and Asian Football Confederation recognition. The Under-17 Women's World Cup that was to begin in India in October has been put on hold and India could be stripped off hosting rights. The participation of the Indian team will be affected if India lose hosting rights. It's very unfortunate that FIFA is banned Indian football and at the same time I feel it's a very harsh decision from FIFA to ban Indian football. But at the same time I think it's a great opportunity to get our system right. And it's very important that all the stakeholders, the Federation, State Association, Sports Ministry, to come together, get the system right and everybody work for betterment of Indian football. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.